Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you everyone? I hope you are in a good condition. So today, on Wednesday, 27 January 20 and 21, we are going to learn events advertisement. So here we go. Have you ever seen this kind of pictures or this kind of posters? Mungkin di sekolah kalian di Mading atau di manapun itu, like turnamen atau music festival. Pernah nggak lihat gambar-gambar kayak gini? Maybe ya. Yeah. So these are the picture of event advertisement. And also there are kinds of advertisement. Ada juga jenis-jenis iklan yang lain. For example, product advertisement atau iklan produk. The second one, service advertisement atau iklan layanan jasa. Contohnya ini. And then job vacancy advertisement atau iklan lowongan pekerjaan. And the last one, event advertisement, atau ikon kegiatan. That's what, this is what we are going to learn. An advertisement is a picture, short film, song, and etc. which tries to persuade people to buy a product or service or attend an event. Jadi iklan itu dibuat untuk membujuk orang-orang untuk membeli sesuatu produk, produk atau layanan jasa. Ataupun menghadiri suatu kegiatan. While an event advertisement is a text that has the objective to announce an event in order to make the people attract, attend, or join the activities of the events. Sedangkan ikan kegiatan yaitu untuk mengumumkan sebuah kegiatan supaya orang-orang tertarik untuk hadir atau mengikuti kegiatan yang diikuti. Nah, di dalam event advertisement juga biasanya Ada yang pertama, bazar, and then fair atau pameran, competition, perlombaan, festival, atau perayaan, and concert atau konser, seperti music, and seminar atau workshop. There are also structure of events, advertisement. Yang pertama, there is name of the event. Example here, Jazz Night 2020, and also event organizer. These are, this is event organizer atau orang yang membuat event ini. And then explanation of the event in a brief. Atau suatu penjelasan dari acaranya, tapi singkat saja. Seperti ini, live entertainment, special food and drink. And event location, tempat uh, acaranya. For example, here, Kemang. And date and time, date-nya 14 March and also time 6.30 p.m. And the last one, there is website, social media, phone number, or contact information, atau contact person. Jadi, untuk informasi lebih lanjut ada. But here, we, we just found website. Here. Next. There are four important strategic questions in advertisement. Ada empat strategi. Pertanyaan yang penting dalam iklan itu. The first one, what product, service, or event will be offered? Produk apa? Layanan jasa apa? Atau kegiatan apa yang akan ditawarkan? Second, who will be the target consumers? Jadi, target consumernya itu siapa? Third, how will the consumers get the product? service, or event. Jadi bagaimana konsumernya itu bisa mendapatkan produknya, layanan jasanya, and then eventnya, 
And the last one, at what price do the products, service, services, or events be offered? Jadi harganya. The language in advertising should be. Jadi bahasa di dalam iklan itu harus the first one evocative atau membuat si pembaca atau pendengar itu mengingat atau membayangkan sesuatu yang menyenangkan. Number second informative or providing a lot of information. Informatif atau menyampaikan banyak informasi. Persuasive, making readers, listener, or viewers want to attain, we or believe in product services or even advertised. Jadi persuasive itu membuat si pembaca, pendengar, ataupun pemirsa itu ingin datang dan juga percaya kepada produk, layanan jasa, atau kegiatan yang diiklankan. Number four, powerful language, having a lot of power to control people. Jadi, kayak bisa mempersuade orang lain. And number five, easily understood by consumer. Jadi, bahasanya harus mudah dimengerti. Number six, Simple language and clear pronunciation. Bahasanya harus simple, tapi jelas pengucapannya. Next, active sentence, not passive sentence. Jadi harus menggunakan kalimat aktif, bukan pasif. Number eight, solid and strong language. And the last one, positive language, not negative language. So here you have to pay attention to the following advertisement. What are the advertis? What are the advertisement about? Jadi di sini kita ada dua advertisement, satu and then home. Oh, sorry. This is the first one and then this is the second one. You have to know analyze this advertisement. Jadi ini tuh tentang apa sih? What Are these advertisement about? Don't forget to. Submit your assignment here. On my WhatsApp. So. I think that's all that I can convey. I'm sorry if I made many mistakes. And if you don't understand about a thing or two, you can ask me on WhatsApp, on WhatsApp group, or you can send me personal message. Don't forget to make the attendance list on WhatsApp group. And see you next week. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.